a secret for two. Each morning, Pierre arrived at the stables of the Provincial Milk Company at five o'clock. The wagon would be loaded and Joseph hitched to it. Without any direction from Pierre, the wagon would roll down St. Catherine Street. The horse would stop at the first house, allow Pierre perhaps thirty seconds to get down from his seat and place a bottle of milk at the front door before skipping two houses and stopping at the third. Pierre would boast, I never touch the reins. He knows just where to stop. Pierre and Joseph both grew old together. Then, one chilly morning, Jacques had dreadful news for Pierre when he arrived. Pierre, Joseph did not wake up this morning. He was twenty-five. I cannot see Joseph again. Pierre walked to the corner and stepped into the street. There was a warning shout from the driver of a huge truck and the scream of brakes. But Pierre heard neither. Five minutes later, an ambulance driver said, He's dead. He was killed instantly. I couldn't help it. The driver of the truck protested. He walked right into my truck as though he were blind. The ambulance doctor bent down. Of course, he has been blind for five years. No, no, Jacques said softly. None of us knew. Only one knew, a friend of his named Joseph. It was a secret, I think, just between those two.